today I will show you how to make this crazy horror shadow look. What was that? Yo, it's Bovikas here and let's begin. Alright, so here I have a clip from Osama's on an Enspin music video which is called Withdrawals. So the first thing we can do is press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer. And here we can just start adding the effects. So the first effect, and I pretty much think this is the most important effect, is Luma Key. Now Luma Key is what's going to make like the shadow look. So I like to make the threshold anywhere from like 30 to 100. So I'm going to make it to 39 here. Uh, but you can like really mess around, you can make it more or less. And now you might start to see like, all right, that looks kind of cool, but does it really look like the shadows? Well, to actually make it look like the shadows, you need to make the edge feather quite high. So I would recommend to make it to like 53.1. And now you can start to see like this kind of looks like a shadow now, like this before and after. And it just looks really dark and just kind of scary. Uh, you can make the threshold even higher if you want. Like you can make it this high. That looks really cool. But I'm just going to keep it to 39. And another effect I like to add here is hue saturation. Now I like to do saturate the clip so i'm gonna make the mass saturation to minus 35 as you can see now it will have a bit of a less color but you can also make it like way less like if it was minus 93 it's basically black and white now but i'm just gonna keep it to minus 35 because that looks i think the best and another effect that is almost crucial to add here is add grain now in horror movies there's a lot of grain so i like to add this effect and let's go to the viewing mode and make it to final output we actually want to see the grain now we can keep it like simple like this but i actually like to change it so here i like to make the preset to codec sfx 200t and i like to make the intensity to 2.7 that is quite of a high intensity but i think it's essential and let's go to color and i like to make it to monochromatic because i don't want it to have the colors on the noise Another effect I like to add here and I think it's also really important is fast box blur. Now the amount is going to be pretty low. It's going to be 1.2 but the blur is so important because now it starts to look kind of damaged and like really like a horror movie. Um, the last effect that I think you don't need to add but I kind of like to add it is exposure. Now at the start I like to make the exposure to zero and I like to keyframe it and I like to go one frame forward right here and here I like to make the exposure to 0.5 now let's go one frame forward and here we can make it to minus 0.2 now go one two frames forward and here make it to zero now let's press u and we will see everything we just did and now i like to hold alt and press on the stopwatch and here we can type loop out and make the parentheses like this and exit out of there oh you actually need to type it like exactly how it is yeah you can just click it like that yeah it needs to be like like that and click it out and it will basically just make a flicker and now we can actually save this as a preset so we can go to one of the effects press ctrl a hold shift and select every keyframe that we made go to animation save animation preset and here i'll recall it to horror cc1 and press save and whenever you want to add this effect you'll just be able to go to effects and presets and type horror cc1 and drop it like that and it's very easy if you want to make it look a bit more horror then you can just press ctrl d to duplicate the layer and that will look really like a lot of horror very grainy very noisy dark and sometimes bright you know yeah this is the ultimate you know horror look just by duplicating the you you instantly get the look so yeah I, I really like this look yeah there's a lot of things you can add here like you can add tint and make the color to like red to make it like a bit more bloody i plan to make more horror tutorials in the future but this one was a no plugins tutorial basically but if you have plugins specifically the sapphire and the signal plugin then i would definitely really recommend to check out my ultimate opium bundle which basically has these type of dark looks just like very intense dark looks those looks are from ken carson music videos but they work perfectly fine for this horror aesthetic because ken carson music videos actually have the horror aesthetic so i can turn off the upper layer right here because we just duplicated the effect i actually want to show you what you can do with the ultimate opium bundle so from the ultimate opium bundle i will be using my opium presets v2 pack which is included in the ultimate opium bundle so i can go down here and here is the opium presets v2 there's over 50 presets here and here we can press ctrl to y and we can call this opm uh, we can add it below this and we can call this the horror and here we can just start adding the effects so if we just add the most simple opium to agony we will get this look it's like a really scary threshold like dark look so yeah, that looks crazy uh, you can add it on top of the horror preset if you want when it's on top of the horror preset it will look like this that is like a really horrific effect in a good way of course basically all these effects work fantastically with this style so we can for example add maybe opium to exposed and that is going to look crazy 
yeah you can really use this for like a music video honestly what i'm seeing here is for some of these effects let's go back to horror we can turn off the exposure because i already in my opium presets i already have exposure added from the sapphire flicker uh, so that's why you do need to have like the sapphire effects you know and the signal effects for the pack but yeah this is how it looks that looks scary actually we can add maybe opium to poison this is going to be a bit more green i think so yeah that looks like this that's like a, almost a bit more of analog horror if you know what that is and if you want true horror then below the horror layer you need to add opium to holala red now i made this to basically be like a really horror effect i mean that is scary and for supporting the channel guys i will also like to let you know that you can use code Bobikas to save five dollars off on the ultimate opium bundle or on the separate opium packs i just want to say thank you guys for the support recently it has been unreal but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya